What's up, YouTube? Knife Crazy here. As you see in this bright orange Pelican case here, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Sergei Ro Rogovitz's uh, knives or not, but this is what his knives come in, and that is very cool. One knife in this box. This knife, as you see the, the background here in my little rubber mat, this knife was picked up from USA Made Blade. I've been eyeballing that one for a while. Um, Sergey does not make a lot of knives because his knives are pretty special. His knives are all done by hand. No CNC machines used. And he's very um, uh, jewelry oriented. Uh, they're very unique. A lot of them has a lot of little bling and stuff like that done to them as you're gonna see with this one. So. Let's open it up and take a look at it. Let me take the paperwork out the back here and oh, we can go over that and look at that in a second. All right. Move that out of the way. You see right here from the paperwork, very nice card they have here. This is the XR6 model, has CTS, uh, X, HP steel, titanium, frame lock. It's all serial numbered. That's the birthday, December 2018. See that right there? No CNC machines used. Stamp sealed here. Pause and read if you want to. But, uh, Here's a little tool he sends with it. A little um, special pivot tool, a little spanner bit. There's the information right there. If you're interested in his website, he has a few available on his website right now, and some dealers have some available. Not very many though. Made in the USA, of course. All right, let's move this mat out the way where it won't be taking away from the, the bling. Move the camera down. There we go. Now, let's dig in. Look at them cool little brass knuckles. They go, you go right to that. It's like, wow, is that brass knuckles? <laughs> I mean, look at the, the work done through here. Bullet hole. Color of the titanium. Another bullet hole on this side. Lock bar insert over travel. Let's take a look at this pivot. It is awesome. Let's look up at close. Let's see if I can, how close I can get it. Look at that. Very cool. Look at the flipper tab. Has a few, just a little couple jimpings, which works very well. I mean, it's, they're sharp jimpings and it just, I mean, you can just put it right on the tip. Look at this action. <laughs> I mean, it just, you barely pull and it's just grabbing right on the, right on the tip, you know? Cool blade. Let me wipe it off. Look at that grind. That's kind of a stone wash, acid wash, whatever you want to call it, right through the uh, flats on down in this area has a unique hole in the blade. Not 100% sure why that's done, but I've seen a lot of his knives is done that way. The little copper insert done into it. Not sure. Almost like that's where the thumb stud should go or something that, you know. If you're a Rogovitz expert and you know what's that there for, unless that's just kind of his little signature deal, let me know. Lock up. 
cool, cool knife. Look at the action. And that's a thin blade right out through here and it's still got that great action. But this is a, uh, you know, one of a kind. Won't be another one like this, nowhere. Check out where he does, see the signature and there's the number. The inside, the back side, I guess you would say of the backspacer. Anyway, you can go to his website and check it out. I just wanted to show it off. Uh, let's do a couple size comparisons just to get an idea of what we're dealing with here. All right, this is a, what most people has owned or still owns, Para 2. It's a little bit longer than the Para 2. There's a Medford infraction. Real similar. Here's a big boy Medford. This is the uh, Praetorian T. So let's put butt to butt. Praetorian T has it just by a little bit, maybe a maybe a quarter inch or so. That gives you an idea of the thinness through the blade, and obviously the way th way thickness of this blade wide. Um, let's see. Want to go real big to make that knife look small. Let's go with the full size Marauder. Medford, by the way. That's good for size comparisons, I reckon. So yeah, um, cool knife, excited to have it in my collection. It's a unique piece, you know? With me, it's not about the quantity, it's about the uniqueness and the quality of what you have, you know? I would rather have one or two very high quality nice knives than have $120 knives, you know? That's just me. A lot of people maybe like quantity. But anyway, this is cool. I love them brass knuckles. Definitely a, like a little showpiece to show somebody you should say, oh man, where you get that? I want one of them. Well, you ain't getting one of these. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.